Behavioral health matters because diseases of the brain are as important as diseases of the body. And we have an opportunity here in California to be a leader, not only in this state, but in the nation. Where our coalition will elevate the issue and drive awareness to decision makers. We're gonna educate about challenges surrounding behavioral health issues. And we're gonna innovate new solutions. California is facing a behavioral health epidemic. One in four Californians will be touched in a single year by a behavioral health issue. Far too many Californians can't get the help they need. The time for action is now. In June of 2018, Behavioral Health Action launched, a coalition of more than 50 statewide organizations working to raise awareness of behavioral health issues in California. Together, we developed a bold vision. California will lead the nation by offering a wide range of prevention services and behavioral health care. We've been busy. We reached out to every single California candidate running for a seat in the Assembly, Senate, and Congress. The response was incredible as they made it clear there is a real sense of urgency to take action. Those who responded are Republican and Democrat, conservative and liberal, black and white, Latino and Asian. The desire for action on mental illness and substance use challenges transcends party, race, gender and income. Our work to engage candidates culminated in an historic meeting with Gavin Newsom in the final two weeks before the 2018 election. Newsom committed to working with our coalition to make California a global model for behavioral health. We need to treat brain health on par with physical health and begin anew a conversation about an issue that impacts almost every other issue in the state of California. Conversation didn't stop there. Shortly after the meeting, Governor Newsom appointed Dr. Thomas Ensel to be key advisor on behavioral health in California in hopes of adding leadership to the behavioral health space. One word, leadership. What California needs is leadership. It needs to have um, a plan, a strategy that says this is an important part of healthcare. Then two questions, what's the right vision, and two, who else would be a BH champion? Leaning into the governor's call to action, BHA developed a comprehensive policy vision for legislators and key stakeholders, answering the call to action, a vision for all Californians' behavioral health. Over the past few months, we spoke with 10% of California's legislature, deeming them behavioral health champions. They all agree that telling personal stories destigmatize behavioral health. My mother uh, pretty much uh, suffered from uh, mental illness uh, since as long as I can remember. And I felt that I had failed to see some of the problems, in, especially with my sister who is, has passed away. Uh, lost a brother this last October, uh, hasn't even been a year yet. People can point fingers, oh, they're homeless, they're mentally ill, and then, but what about their human dignity? California is in a crisis. We do tend to think about mental health is separate from physical health, which is completely untrue. I would say that in California, like many other states, we've been behind. You know, these are not conditions that, that are easily treatable in, a, in the typical medical model. And we need solutions. Through the education, we need to educate the people, educate, educate the legislature. I would like to see a greater sense of urgency on that uh, out of the governor's office and, and the legislature. Rome wasn't built in the day and we didn't get her overnight, but we need to have a methodical plan. Whatever the solution is, none of us have figured it out. Let's all work together. We are engaging and empowering the next generation of change makers and communicating a vision for behavioral health in California. We believe every single Californian should have access to the behavioral health care they need. Learn more at behavioralhealthaction.org.